a bit draining. It's a little bit much, but it's a bit draining, especially if there's no payoff. So, um, yeah, so there is that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're going to have a little bit more um, in terms of, uh, you know, WWE uh, next week. But I wanted to change gears a little bit here. Um, last week, last week I was listening to the community and um, one of the things that that really, really uh, caught my ear was uh, people not understanding or getting the appeal to Orange Cassidy. Um, for those that don't know, um, Orange Cassidy is a uh, ind independent wrestler. Um, I don't know whether or not he's officially signed to AEW, but I'm pretty sure he'll be making some appearances. He um, he was definitely there in the last two pay-per-view events that they had. Um, but Orange Cassidy is an independent wrestler. His, his gimmick is, uh, you know, from nowhere, Wayne, whatever. Um, he's just kind of like a nonchalant kind of wrestling. It's kind of a take of like making fun of wrestling for being just outlandish and crazy. Um, like his movesets are completely, like his initial movesets are like completely um, like obviously they don't hurt. And uh, obviously it's like, I don't care. I don't, you know, kind of thing. Um, like he hits you and he hits you like very very softly and you're supposed to sit there and react to it and a lot of people enjoy it uh, myself included and there but there's just as many people who just completely um hate his gimmick so i thought i'd give like a perspective as to why i enjoy uh orange cassidy and, and hopefully that kind of sheds some light in terms of what the appeal to uh orange cassidy is um so I'll start by the beginning. Um, the very first time that I even got whiff of um, Orange Cassidy uh, was a couple months back where uh, Velveteen Dream did a match with uh, one of the sister or partner companies of the WWE. Um, I can't remember what the name of it was, um, but people were saying, you know, Orange, you know what Orange Cassidy did to. Um, to uh, Velveteen Dream was that disrespectful and things like that and it's it's not it's I mean it was just it's his it's his gimmick um and I decided that I'd educate myself a little bit more by watching a few of his matches you know I saw his match with Kylie Ray which I thought was amazing um the chain wrestling that was completely awesome um he had a match with uh I want to say his name is Dick Murdoch um um, and then he also had this match with this guy named uh, Star something. I can't uh, I can't remember his name. He tagged with Joey Janela um, to go against the, uh, uh, the Hyper Twins or something like that. And throughout his matches, I the thing that appeals to me the most isn't so much like his style of wrestling. Um, it's just. Like everyone approaches him, like every person he's in the ring with approaches him in a different way, which I enjoy. Um, like it's incorporating the best of both gimmicks um, in the ring by uh, by kind of adapting to what it is that he does. Like you don't have the traditional elbow and call uh, elbow and and, and tie up um, that you do in your you know your normal matches. Um, Sometimes the person, the other person doesn't know what exactly it is that they're doing um, and they're trying to figure it out and they play along like the first 10 minutes um, or the first five to 10 minutes of the match, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're playing along with the gimmick itself. And I even, I even saw a match with him and uh, Boom Boom, uh, what's his name? Gosh, I am so bad today. I should have written some of these down. That, that's how you guys know that your boy does this live. Um, Colt Cabana and even his match with Colt Cabana he did the same thing and it's not about wins or losses it's just about telling a compelling story um, and I, I just I feel like he does a great job and everyone who steps in the ring with him does a great job at telling that story now is this is for everyone definitely not um, your your average fan would probably not like it but and and I don't ever think that this would ever see the light of day on like a, a WWE program 
um, AEW for sure, but not WWE. Um, but I, I think the appeal for most of us is just it's, it's, it's something completely different and out of the norm. Like you would never see or catch a wrestler doing some of the things that he does. You know, the 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 fake kicks, uh, the very slow mo fake kicks, the fake chops, and then him turning around and then you know, putting up his thumbs up. Um, you know, I love that. Um, I love it when he sends somebody to the ropes, they knock him down and then he kips up with his glasses still on his face. Um, I love that he uses the, uh, instead of Muda's mist, he uses, uh, orange juice, um, to, to, to kind of spit into his, uh, opponent's eyes. And then he kind of juices up and then his, you know, his move sets are a lot, you know, quicker, um, you know, you see him do the Canadian destroyer, see him do the old school around the ring. Um, you know, his, you can tell that he's a legitimate wrestler. And I think that that's the people who don't have the appeal. They see like the first five minutes of the match without seeing the, you know, the remaining 10 minutes of the match to get a good feel of what Orange Cassidy is all about. Um, he's the ultimate baby face, uh, wrestler, um, without really truly being a baby face you know he's just it's just it's so fun it's fun to watch you know orange cassidy go and um i, I hope that people give him more of a chance like I, he his chain wrestling is amazing um the you know the what he does in the ring with other people to showcase them and make them better um you know he takes crazy bumps he bleeds um uh, for people doesn't have an attitude like a straight attitude in the ring about stuff like it's it's just a joy to watch him go um and if you haven't seen um orange cassidy or, me, if you haven't seen any of orange cassidy's matches you can catch them on youtube you know they've got five or six different matches on youtube and i definitely would recommend it i i love them and i wish i knew I, i'll I'll put the, uh, the the name of the match in the, the show notes, and I'll I'll link up to the to the the actual match itself. But he had this good match with um, with uh, this this guy. Um, I think he calls himself the the star, or the I don't know, the star of the the show or something like that. I I don't remember what that moniker was. But the guy at the beginning, you know, he's playing along and then, at, you know, and then towards the middle, he was just like, I'm fed up. I'm going to just, I'm going to chain wrestle this dude. I'm going to put him in submission holds and I'm going to beat him. And just, and he was just like, you know, strong styles. Like, it was crazy. It was like watching Dean Malenko go. I mean, he was pretty good. Um, you know, but in the end, you know, he got out wrestled like legitimately out wrestled by Orange Cassidy, which I thought was pretty cool. And kudos to both of them. And they were, they were both amazing at what they do. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of my opinion about Orange Cassidy. Um, you got to really give it a try. You know, I'm not saying that you're going to like it. Um, and that I'm not going to say that it's for you. Um, but don't base your opinion on him off of what you the YouTube clips that you see or the Twitter clips that you see the gifs or the gifs that you see online um, go out and actually watch the match and you might be surprised it might be a lot more entertaining um, than you give yourself I mean than you give him credit for previously so educate yourself that's what I say go ahead I'll go out there and educate yourself on Orange Cassidy so um, so with that being said, guys, um, I do want to, I do want to reserve some time to talk about E3. Um, I've already done a couple of, uh, I, I've done the reaction videos for most of the conferences already, which are on our channel. Um, they're kind of long, so I'll try to piece them, uh, in the future. 